Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here specifically to talk about the Fabric Frenzy that is coming up on March 3, 2018. I know I have a lot of new members in the Peanut Gallery Facebook group who, who don't really know what the Fabric Frenzy is all about. Also, we have a whole bunch of new subscribers on this channel who might like to get in on the action, and they also don't know what it's about. So that's what this video is for. Hopefully, I can answer some of your questions. If you have additional questions about the Frenzy, you can ask in the comments below this video. And let's just get started. I actually have some stuff written down because I don't want to have to rethink all this stuff that I want to tell you every time I have a frenzy. First, generally, what the frenzy is like. You have to belong to my Peanut Gallery Facebook group. In that group, on the frenzy day, I will post links to fabric that I have on my blog that you can purchase via PayPal. Nobody else in the real world gets links to those listings. Only people in the group. I do promote it outside of the group, especially on that day, but that's only to get people into the group. They don't get the actual links. They might see pictures of things that I'm offering, but they have to become a member of the group in order to be able to grab any of the stuff. I generally start around 12 noon Eastern time, and it ends anywhere between like 8 and 10 p.m. at night. And yes, I have people who hang out all day long and just keep refreshing their page to see if I've listed anything else. When I first started this, I had about 30 listings, I think, the very first time, and it keeps growing. I'm trying to get 50 listings this time, but I'm only up to 28. I work on this as soon as the other frenzy is done. I try to do them about six weeks apart. It takes me all this time to get all the other listings ready for the next one. So I'm up to 28. I have a little bit more than a week to go, and I'm going to try to get... Did I say 28? No, I have 32. So I have to get 18. I don't know what I was saying before. I have 32 ready. I have to get 18 more to hit 50. I want to hit 50. And then I'll have three days of a nightmare of packaging. But that's okay. I'm always excited about the frenzy and I don't remember how much I hate the packaging part of this gig. <laughs> So that's what it's all about. It's fabric that I purchase at Marden's. Sometimes it's something from my personal stash. Have I done that yet? I think I have a few times. It will always say in the listing what it is that I'm selling you guys, but for the most part, it's new things. Marden's is a salvage and surplus store that is in Maine. I believe only in Maine. I don't think they have one in New Hampshire yet. There might have been talks about that. But it's a family-run small chain, and the one that I have in Sanford happens to have a fabric section, a pretty big one. The prices are not always that great. Like, for instance, the other day I went to look for new panels, some more panels, I should say, and... The prices were too high for me to be able to make any kind of a profit on there, let alone pay for any of my time and, you know, stuff like that. So I had to leave empty-handed with no panels, but I'm going to go back again tomorrow to see what they might have because we never know what they might have. When I find a good deal, I buy it, and then I pass the savings on along to you. And you don't have to do any of the shopping, the waiting for stuff to be cut. It just gets delivered to your door. What else do I need to tell you? Let's talk about the fact that I don't normally send outside of the country. The main reason I don't like to do it, there's two reasons. One, I don't like to do it. I don't like the extra time it takes to do the customs, and it's just very confusing. I have to take the time to measure the packages and all that. One way to get around measuring the packages and the weight and all that crap is to go with priority flat rate mail envelopes like this. These are for U.S. or international. So I'm willing to give this a try with Canada and the U.K. Those two countries are always in the top three, U.S., U.K., Canada, on my YouTube channel. So I thought I'll start there because I have a big audience there. However, you're not going to like the shipping prices, which is the second reason that I don't ever bother to do this. But everybody always says, I'll pay the shipping, I'll pay the shipping, and I say, you're not going to like it, you're not going to like it. If you're willing to pay the shipping, and you have to prepay, and I'll talk about that in a second, 
I can fill this envelope and it starts at $25 for the shipping for the UK and Canada. One is a little bit less or more than the other, but we're looking at $25. Bucks. For the medium box, which is, you know, a, a good size, I can put quite a bit in there. Jeez, I can't remember. It's on there somewhere. It's like 60 bucks, something like that. So the shipping is very high priced. But if somebody is determined that they want to order from the UK or Canada, you're going to have to email me at peanutgallery at darlingmeshow.com. And that, I think, is always in the description. It's probably not. It will be for this video. And you're going to have to prepay for the shipping. And you know why? Because I have been doing online sales since 19... I was going to say since 1920. No, I wasn't born <laughs> since the year 2000. And I know how things go. People say, oh, I'll pay, I'll pay. And then what happens? They only end up ordering one or two things because everything is sold out. And then they're going to say, oh, well, I'm not going to pay $25 for shipping. I, I only was able to order one thing. And that's what I can't be bothered with. I can't have people backing out because it didn't go the way they planned. So you would need to prepay the shipping. And if you win just a couple little things of fabric you're going to get it in the mail because I've already got your shipping and I won't be able to let you back out. I just won't. Just the way I do things. If you win nothing, I would absolutely refund your shipping. You have to trust me just like I would have to trust you. Doesn't feel good to have to trust, does it? <laughs> anyway, you can email me. We can talk about it, but I'm telling you, you're not going to like the prices. I just know you won't. So, uh, but I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to give it a try just to maybe get everybody to stop asking me and actually being mad at me. There are people who send me hate because I refuse to send outside of the U.S. So I'm hoping this will stop that. I will send to you gladly. And you're going to have to rob a fucking bank to be able to order. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get past that. That was the least thing I wanted to talk about because I do. I get a lot of complaints about that. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why people expect... Oh, I don't even want to get into it. You, it. Some people just expect too much, you know? It's just, I don't know. And it's not like I need the extra business. I mean, knock on wood, but I sell out of almost everything. I mean, if I had absolutely no sales, yeah, I'd be like, you know, maybe I can uh, get something from the other countries. But, you know, the shipping just isn't worth it. I certainly can't offer free shipping. I can't be paying 20-something dollars. I would, I mean, uh, you understand, don't you? Most of you, I think you do. Some of you. So I spit out links in the group whenever. The last time I thought it would be a good idea to let you guys know that I'll do some at the top of the hour and on the half hour. I'm not doing that this time. That completely, like, stressed me out. It just made it not fun because I was forever having to set a timer and then I would... So it's just going to be links spit out. But if I do get to 50, there's going to be a lot of links spit out at you guys in every hour, especially when I start to get behind because I'm printing invoices as we go. I send a canned reply to every order to let you guys know that I did at least get your order. I have to check on stock because the PayPal buttons don't always work right and something will be marked sold out when it really isn't. Other things might not be marked sold out when they really are. So it's just a lot going on and, um, you know, I just... I need to be able to, you know, sit back and do the things I have to do and then list when I can. So you'll just have to hang out all day. If you can't scroll, this is just something new. On Facebook, for the life of me, I could not scroll down past a few of the posts in the group. There's something there at the top, recent posts and new posts or whatever. If you can't scroll, it'll say other posts, but it you click on it and nothing happens. It's broken. People are complaining about it. If that happens, go back up to the top above the post. I, I don't know what this looks like on a phone. I'm telling you from the eyes of a PC person. <laughs> okay. Go up and whatever it's on for you, if it's like recent posts, do the little drop down and select the other option and you should be able to scroll down. 
I do not turn comments on in the group. My group has no comments on. I have to turn comments off individually every time I post something. Sometimes I forget, but I eventually catch on because people will start leaving comments. And um, I don't turn them on for the frenzy. And I know some of you think that's a very odd thing. Like, what if we have questions? I don't want questions. I'm fucking busy during that. <laughs> I don't have time to answer questions and I just know it would be filled with people saying yay I got it and the others saying shit I couldn't get it and I know there are also people who would have questions about the actual listing and again I know this because people find ways to contact me and say I would have ordered that but but I wasn't able to ask you what shade of pink that was you know I'm I'm exaggerating there but you know what I mean people want answers and they get mad thinking they lost out because they couldn't ask me the question I'm gonna tell you something even if you could ask me the questions by the time you type out your question it's probably sold out I had I can't remember like uh, I know I had I don't know 40 listings last time something like that but maybe like I think it was like a total of like 160 items I had 40 listings 169 individual items that was a hundred actually that was 169 individual invoices that I had to print out some of those invoices were for multiples like when I put something out you can change and get two of them anyway there was a lot out of all those I think I had seven things left everything else sold out so you don't have time to ask questions so don't feel bad or be mad at me because you couldn't get an answer and that's why you lost the item you would have lost the item anyway if you were asking the question so this is for people who just don't give a shit about things being exact like an exact shade or is it cut a certain exact way or you know, what's the feel of the cotton? Is it soft hand? This fabric is for people who are fabric addicts and they just want fabric. <laughs> oh my God, I sound angry. It's because a lot of this does get very aggravating because of the kinds of feedback and comments and stuff that I get from people and what I expect every time. You know, there's always so much good about this that I enjoy, but then there's always that shit side. <laughs> anyway, comments will not be on. And stuff sells out quick. Sometimes it doesn't. And I am trying to get more of each individual thing this time. So it might not sell out as fast. I'm hoping that works out good for you guys. However... And I even have this in my notes. This is a frenzy. Sometimes I have only one of something. Quite a few of the things are just one. And if something says remnant, obviously that's just one. And sometimes I let you know if there's just one. If I think it's something really cool and special. And I'll even say that's coming out at 6 p.m. Eastern or something like that. So you can be right there. Like you have no life. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the time I don't let you know so you just never know you just never know you have to decide quick if you want it or not if you order something and you order multiples and like say I have something and you ask for three of them if it says sold out try two PayPal buttons won't let you know that there's a lesser amount. If there's not three available, it will just say sold out. So you can try two and then it might say, oh, there is two and you might be able to get it. If they say two is sold out, try one. I do try to go into the page on my blog and in the group to mark things as sold out. But again, I'm very, very busy and I do it as soon as I can, but I can't always do it immediately. This Honestly, there are some things that will sell out in less than a minute. I mean, that's how quick it can go. I don't do any ironing. I don't trim whatever threads are there. I give you the stuff the same way I got it at Marden's. If something looks like a rumpled mess, I bought it like that. <laughs> 
but I don't keep it in a ball on the floor somewhere in the corner of my house. I do, though, when I get home, I, when I take the pictures of the things, I fold everything and get everything ready. There's stuff all over a bed, all numbered, all ready in its piles. So, so they do flatten out a little bit. But I don't, like, trim things and, you know, so you get it the way I got it. When I measure something, I always round down because I want you to get at least that amount. So like if I have pre-cuts and I say they're about four inches by three and a half, they might almost all be like four and a quarter, but I don't want to take a chance that some might be less than four and a quarter. So I say four, you know, I, I just, I want you to get what I say and, or you can expect sometimes a little bit more and things will be cut unevenly because I stack things. I cut on the fold. So again, if I say four inches and you say, Oh, this one's bigger. I got jilted on this one. No, this is the one that you were supposed to get. This was a bonus, a bonus quarter of an inch like that would matter. <laughs> All payments are through PayPal. I think I said that. And, uh, if you try to find ways to contact me during the frenzy to ask me questions about the, you know, the item, or people will email me, because I just gave you an email, peanutgallery at dollymishu.com, if you want to talk to me about, uh, shipping to UK and Canada. I, I won't be testing other countries right now. Let me start with those two. But if you use that email during the frenzy and ask me, um, you know, do you have any cat fabric? Do you have any this, any of that? I'm not going to even answer you. If I get people who say, oh, I want to order something, but can you hold it, my orders and I'll pay you later? No, you can't even order because you can't reserve it unless you go through PayPal. And I'm not going to start putting stuff aside. Yeah, just please. Just please, just shop like a normal human being. <laughs> I think that's it. I've probably pissed you off enough. <laughs> you watch. Nobody will come to this frenzy. Hey, that would be good for those of you who really want to grab everything. And I do say, if you want multiples, don't feel bad. Go ahead, order, get whatever you can. I'd rather sell a lot to a few people than sell nothing to a whole lot of people. So, you know, if you're there and you're putting in the time and you're making yourself crazy, refreshing constantly, whatever you can get, you deserve it. So that's it. So March 3, be there, noon, Eastern, and uh, it'll be fun. It and I know the peanut gallery is the rowdy part of the audience. I understand that. And it'll be all under control. I have uh, pet squirrels in my wall over there. And I can hear them. And you probably can too. There's uh, something's going to have to be done about that. But I don't know what. <laughs> all right. That is it. Uh, seriously. All in good fun. But some people do drive me fucking nuts. And you know that. And uh, just don't. Just don't drive anybody nuts. Nobody needs to be driven nuts. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.